Naturally Creative Mama here with a quick tutorial on how to use cam snap uh, pliers, specifically to use them as you put snaps on your suck pads for your baby carriers. So here's what you need. You're going to need your pliers. I got mine, or I got these ones at least, at Joann's. Um, they are found with all of their Babyville products. And when you buy those, you can also pick up your snaps there. They come in a little kit um, with all the, the snaps you need. I think there's like a hundred of them in there, I want to say. Maybe it's 50. I don't remember. Oh wait, I have the package. It is, oh, it's 60. So, looks like that. <clears throat> so, it comes with that, and it comes with a poker is what I like to call it. Um, I don't know what it's actually called, but it's what you use. It's really sharp on the end and it's what you use to poke your hole through your fabric to put your snaps on. So it's a poker to me. Anyways, um, you can also buy pliers through other places that sell cam snaps online. Get my little tool bag out here. Um, this is just another set of pliers that I have and these are actual cam snap pliers you can see the cam on there um, and these ones come with a bunch of different attachments I actually have these pliers set up right now to use these really cool snaps it's a double-sided snap so it has a prong on the same side as your snap so that you can add either another snap side on this end or you can put your socket on that end and then you have a double-sided snap. So I use these when I make my Gemini hoods for the Becco Gemini carrier. Um, so you can get these and you get a lot more options. But if you're looking to just do a couple snaps on something simple like your stuff pads here, then just the ones that you can buy at Joann's are totally perfectly fine. Okay, so here's what we do. I'm going to flip this over because these suck pads are actually a woven wrap on one side and just plain cotton on the other. And so I'm going to do my markings on the cotton side because it's a lot easier to see it. And I'm going to grab just a small quilting ruler and line it up here on the edge of my suck pad. I like to line up the half inch marking on the edge of my suck pad here and I make my markings half inch in from the edge. And because these are a wrap, the corners are really big and bulky, so I'm gonna come up to an inch from the top and the bottom and make my marking and then go right in the middle. And these are seven inches, so I'm putting a marking at three and a half inches. When I do double-sided cotton ones, I do a half inch marking here and a half inch in on the top. So, um, but because these are so bulky, I'm leaving myself a little bit extra room. Okay, once you have your markings, I'm actually gonna mark the other side real quick while I have my stuff out here. So again, an inch from the bottom, three and a half inches, and an inch down from the top. And the reason I use a ruler is because I want to make sure that my snaps are gonna line up perfectly. Um, it's also a good way to check that your uh, suck pad is straight and even on both sides because you'll you'll know that it's the same measurement on this side that it is on this side. So, good, good way to check. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my poker tool and I'm going to poke straight down and then lift my suck pad up over my little poker tool. I find that this is the best way to get a straight hole through my fabric. Um, if I hold it in my lap or I hold it up to poke it, then I don't always get a straight hole all the way through. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to grab a prong, which is the, the piece with the, the pointy end on it, and I'm going to grab a socket. And the socket is the one that just has the ring around the outside and it's indented in the middle. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put my prong through the hole, I'll get all the way through out the other side, put my socket on top of that so that I can see the prong poking through. 
And then I'm going to take my pliers, and my pliers have um, this black, almost like a little dish, that the flat side of my prong sits into. You can hear it kind of click into place there. Then I'm going to sandwich it down so that my, my top snap half, um, my uh, socket in this case, is completely covered by this little rubber piece. And then I can see that I can't even see the flat side of my prong on that side because it's completely inside that little black bowl. Then I'm going to push it down and there we go. My snap is there. So just repeat the same thing for the other two. Then when it you're ready to do it on the other side, um, specifically if you're doing suck pads, which I am, I want to make sure that my prong is on one side, or my um, my socket is on this side, and on this side I want my prong to show because I want to be able to snap it around and connect it. <laughs> so. Uh, because this is a wrap, sometimes I lose that little hole on this side. I can't always find it. So I'm just going to re-poke through my hole there so I can find where it is. Stick my prong through. And poke it through the hole that I made on that side. This time I'm grabbing the socket piece. The one that has, um, or not the socket. That was the socket. This is the snap piece. I'm going to set that on top, then grab my pliers again, line it up, push it down, and what you're doing is when you squeeze your handles together, it pushes the point of the prong down, you can, probably can't even see that, but it pushes it down so that it's flat and it covers up the hole that was in your piece so that your piece can't come off, come off. Okay, so then you just repeat it for that side. And I'm gonna do those real quick. I'm gonna speed up the video because you don't need to watch it on real speed. a look and see the finished snaps here so this one I have the sockets going all the way down this side all facing up on the wrap side of my suck pad and then if I flip it over I have all my prongs on this side so that they are on opposite sides so make sure when you put yours on that they are on opposite sides otherwise when you go to wrap it or to snap it and you wrap it over it's not going to connect. So after I'm all done, I just take a minute and I snap them all together and unsnap them just to make sure that they are on there really good. And you can see how nicely they, they lay because my, um, my snaps were evenly spaced on there. So you can see that. So I'm just going to check them. And they all unsnap beautifully. Now if you made one that was reversible, you could then just flip it over, snap it on this side, and then you have your reversible suck pad. So this case with the wrap on this side and plain cotton on this side, my customers are more likely to use this side. So I have a bunch of these, you can see. I'm working on several sets all at once. So I just thought I'd take a, a minute and show you guys just a real quick tutorial. Um, one thing that I do find is if my fabric is too bulky, the snaps won't stick. So you have to be really careful um, 
and if you find that your fabric is too bulky right where the snaps need to go, I used my handy scrapbooking hammer that I had from an eyelet set for scrapbooking, and I just kind of hammer down the fabric around where my snap is going to be. That way it lays a little flatter and it's more uniform and my snap will sit in there much better. So there you have it. Hopefully it's helpful if you are making your own suck pads. Um, I will put my fabric dimensions when I cut my fabric down in the description box below uh, in case you are interested in that. Um, I will try and also get another video posted about actually constructing suck pads. Um, that way you can really make your own. Also, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will try and get back to you. Make sure you like my video if you want to see more tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. That way you get all my latest videos in your newsfeed. So until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon. Bye.